Hello, ma'am. How fortuitous it is that we meet again. Uh, hello! Are you here on your inspiration walk, too? Yes. Allow me to introduce ourselves. I am Xingqiu, and this is Noelle and Mika. Thank you for accepting our answer to your riddle yesterday. Oh, don't mention it. It's all in good fun. I'm Kelly Roe. So, Miss Kelly Roe, are you from Fontaine? That's right. I was traveling in the area and just happened to see there was a poetry event being held at Stone Gate. It looked fun, so I thought I'd drop in. Your riddle yesterday made quite an impression on me. It was uniquely evocative. Have you studied Liyue poetry before? I haven't, actually. I've just picked up a few things here and there from chatting with people throughout my travels. Amazing! So you're a natural poet! We noticed you standing on the bridge from quite some distance away. Are you drawing poetic inspiration from the flowing current beneath your feet? <laughs> I haven't finished my poem yet. The water here was just so peaceful and calming. I stopped for a moment and lost myself in admiring it. Well, since we're all here, why not head back with us to the venue for tonight's festivities? It's getting late after all. Huh? Are... are you sure? We can walk and talk. Perhaps the mingling of ideas will give rise to new inspiration. Well, I'd personally like to hear Miss Callie Rowie's couplet. I'm sure I can learn something. <laughs> well, if you're all in agreement, I've got no reason not to join you. Woohoo! The first team is back, right on schedule. Huh? The others have yet to return? <laughs> We... Oh, oh, we're not too late, are we? Just how far did you all go? <laughs> Everyone catch your breath. Come on, deep breaths. One, two... Now, don't panic. The party hasn't started yet. <sighs> we made it! Oh, Paimon's exhausted. dropping all those leaves, Paimon's hands are cramping up. Huh. Sounds like someone needs to exercise more. Huh? You guys picked up a new teammate while you were out? Indeed. This is Kelly Roe. I believe you'll remember her from yesterday, though you weren't introduced. Hi, everyone. Hello. But you're not the only ones who's called in reinforcements. <laughs> We've all regrouped. Let's. Huh. Scratch that. Looks like we're still waiting on my co host. <laughs> they say roosters crow at first light and finches go to bed at night. But Director Hu Tao's always on the ball. Anytime, anywhere, she'll answer your call. Um, are the theatrics really necessary? We're already on day two of the festival. The opening ceremony is over. <laughs> But my dear, dear Paimon, it seems you are not yet aware. That was not for my own sake, but for a special guest who's joining us today. <laughs> Director whose manner is as exuberant as ever. It always makes quite an impression. Oh boy! Now this is a surprise. Mr. Zhongli, I hope you are well. Xingqiu, what can you tell me about Mr. Zhongli? He seems like somebody very important. Yes. He's held in very high regard in Liyue Harbor. He's extremely erudite in many different domains of knowledge. 
Allow me to introduce you all to Zhang Li, a consultant at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. His expertise is limitless, stretching from the celestial orbs to the terrestrial ores, spanning modern and ancient culture, delving into literature both prosaic and poetic. He may be my subordinate, but he is certainly a qualified poetry expert, and so we have invited him here tonight to judge the compositions. The director exaggerates. I am but vaguely acquainted with a few lines of classical poetry. Should you consider me to be remiss in my appraisal of your own compositions, please correct me. Ah, yeah, enough with the modesty already. If I didn't know better, I'd say you seemed nervous. Just focus on judging. Please rest assured that I shall rise to the occasion, director. Let me do a quick count. One, two, three, four. Great! Equal numbers on both sides. Huh? Are you counting me too? Okay, fine. But consider this a favor. Hmm, with our Fontaine friend present, perhaps we should rename this event to the Three Nations Congenial Poetry Gala. Also, I'm just noticing that Paimon should only count as a half teammate at most. Hmm, that kind of puts Team Traveler at a bit of a disadvantage. Well, how about this? I'll join in as well. Director Hutel, here to help out in your hour of greatest need. What does everyone think? Naturally, the more the merrier. Being the host of the festival shouldn't stop you from having the chance to enjoy it like the rest of us. Then, it's settled. Everyone else in the audience, feel free to join in too and support your favorite team. What about me? Shall I keep track of the score? No need for that. The teams are just a formality. We're all friends here, and this isn't intended to be competitive. But what do you think, Judge Zhongli? I concur, Director. Moreover, it would be disingenuous to impose upon our friends from Mondstadt and Fontaine a competition in which they are judged on how rigorously they can adhere to Liyue poetic conventions. Since this is a congenial poetry gala, should we not begin with inspiration and finish with friendly conversation? The aim being for all participants to enjoy themselves. <sighs> That's a relief. I was so nervous about this, but it sounds like it's going to be pretty relaxed. Couldn't have asked for a better judge. Zhongli said everything I was supposed to say only far more eloquently. So, without further ado, I shall pass the baton to Venti. No problem. Friends old and new, put on your thinking caps and take a deep breath of fresh air. The second stage of our poetry gala will now commence. Matching couplets! 